So yeah, we're here at uh, Goethe Bunker in Essen uh, for the second installation of the Synergy event actually, um, which is a collaboration between us, the, our imprint team, and um, the, some artists from the Kunstakademie in Düsseldorf. And the idea is basically to have different disciplines of art and music uh, interact with each other and um, ideally create something that is uh, synergetic in a sense and therefore like bigger than the sum of its individual parts. And um, yeah, I think Goethe Bunker is a very nice location for that because uh, you have a very intimate vibe in a sense. But um, you still have like various uh, rooms in which you can work. For example, right here behind me, we have a, a video installation by Christiana Kott. Um, and uh, yeah, then right next to it, there's like a proper dance floor with a function one sound system where we're going to have a techno rave that is always guaranteed to be very intense and intimate here at Goethe Bunker. Goethe Bunker is a great location. It's a smaller place um, with great, great vibe, a great look, and a great feel. The ambient here is very kind of cozy and familiar, and you don't need a lot of people to get um, yeah, a great vibe in the club. They have an awesome sound system. We already played here a couple of years ago, uh, a live set if I remember right, and was also just sick. The fat sounding sound system uh, in the smaller room is just banging. Uh, in general, uh, I prefer smaller clubs because it's just nice to be more private with the people. They're close to you, you have a great overview about the crowd uh, and it's kind of more familiar and gives some intense personal vibe for this special night. For the installation, I actually um, also contributed the soundtrack to accompany the room. It's going to be playing the whole night. The idea was to have uh, not just like pre-arranged uh, ambient music, but rather create um, something uh, generative. So something that would um, orchestrate itself uh, almost throughout the night. So uh, it's a concept coined by um, Brian Eno, I think it was, where you create a system that creates music rather than creating the actual music itself. And the way I approached it for this uh, piece for tonight is I created 15, 16 individual sounds that would um, uh, yeah, work well together and then assign varying uh, degrees of uh, or intervals between their repetition. So some sounds might repeat uh, over one bar, some sounds might only appear every 1212.5 bars, uh, etc. So all the intervals are different. And if you now take 15, 16 uh, stems that are all doing this, um, you just have to do the math. That it will take thousands of years uh, in order to have like a complete cycle where you have the exact same thing repeating over and over again. So yeah, we're gonna let that play uh, throughout the entire night. Um, and yeah, I hope that it has like an effect on the listener that makes them more focused on the visual work as well, because I think it helps you to yeah. Get in, get in touch with the present moment because you can never really anticipate what's, uh, what the next sound is going to be. And yeah, we'll see how it turns out.
it's a bit of an older movie. It's like um, it's called The Movement of Transformation, and it's I think one of the first movies that I made, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I've exhibited before in Bucharest in like a club, also a techno club, and also in an abandoned building where people were quite um, tripping out on it and they were staying for the whole night to see it over and over again. I didn't expect that. I think it's great. I think it's offering a different uh, possibility to be able to experience both music and art together. And I think um, also from an art perspective, it should go away from the white cube and the slick presentation of things that don't mean much. So I think that the more um, out of context it is, or out of art's own context it is, then the more it can be understood on different levels. So usually in, in my artistic expression I use everything but music, meaning installation, performance, video, poetry, drawing, animation, robots, anything that doesn't create sound, or if it creates sound, then it's completely random sound. Um, I am not good with music, that's why I like collaborating with people that can do music. <laughs>